Valentino Womo Noir Absolute. So what am I mostly get from this fragrance? I get incense, I get sandalwood, and I get a little bit of a spice and cinnamon mixture. The incense is prominent almost right away when I first spray it, mixing with a nice creamy sandalwood and a little bit of a spicy accord. And the dry down, the cinnamon starts to come through a little bit more, still mixing with that incense and that creamy sandalwood. There really aren't too many notes to this fragrance. There isn't a whole lot going on, but that's what I like about it. It's relatively simple and it's pretty unique in terms of designers. And yes, if you were wondering, you can tell by my voice, I am a little bit sick. I've been sick for the last couple of days. Voice has been on and off, but that doesn't stop me from bringing out awesome content for you guys on an almost daily basis. This week has been a little bit rough. I've been trying to get used to a couple different things, but I'm gonna try to get back to the almost daily content, even though I am a little bit sick. With that, let's go ahead and jump back into the review. As far as when this fragrance would be best, this is definitely more of a winter fragrance, fall and winter, cooler months is when I'd wear this one um, because it is very sweet. It's got some heavier notes and it just suits the cold weather better. Also, I would say it's more of an evening scent, more of a nighttime scent. This is one that I'd maybe wear out to dinner on dates perhaps, or for maybe slightly formal events in the evening. That's just when I would wear it. You could pull it off in the day if you wanted to, uh, fall or winter days, but to me, more of an evening scent. As far as price point goes on this one, you can pick these up for around, I think $70 or so for the 100 mil. Again, I haven't really seen them been talked about too much. I haven't really seen them being sold on Facebook groups. Uh, a while ago, FragranceNet was running a deal. They were having these 100 mil testers for like $50, which I think is a great price for this fragrance and definitely worth checking out. So guys, that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on Valentino Womo Noir Absolu. This fragrance probably isn't for everyone. I do recommend you sampling it first one way or another before committing to buying a bottle. It is relatively unique in terms of other current designer releases that all smell generic. This one does stand out a little bit and it doesn't have any of you know, the iris note that is in Valentino Womo Intense. It kind of goes away from that note, which is pretty popular right now. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.